what is best in life to crush your enemies to see them driven before you and to hear the lamentations of their women welcome back to another edition of the way of the daniel it is may the 13th 2021 8 29 p.m kudos to my brother for the quote which is kudos to the magicians and margo the destroyer for saying it and kudos to Conan, which is where she got it from. Fantastic fucking quote. That's our morality. Got a wonderful topic for you tonight. Two wonderful topics. And we're going to jump right into them right after today's Astrological forecasts, transits, the movement of the stars. What are they doing? Well, what you should know, Jupiter is now in Pisces. And that's all. Welcome, Jupiter, to Pisces. May it bring mystical, magical healing. And let's emphasize the magic. And the ocean. Give us the fucking ocean. Jupiter and Pisces, good God, give us a goddamn ocean. Recap from last time. We've been enjoying some corn motivation a few things i want to throw in there for repetition's sake is more fun less work star boy focus on the skills i need to fucking check this shit focus on the game the skill the connection grunt work grunt work fucking grunt work and that is that's a great segue to where we're fucking going tonight where we're fucking going tonight told myself i would speak with less puckered butthole like which is fun and just try to speak with more of a relaxed voice in fact i could in fact play with the hypnotic voice because that's pretty fun hypnotic naughty voice one and the same big topic to motivate for today which is what we fucking do here in the way of the daniel is motivate the healing Yours truly is undergoing a sort of healing wave, it seems like. And above all, what I do not want to do is snip that in the bud. I do not want to discourage that. And what I mean by discourage healing that comes your way from outside sources, outside meaning that you didn't really put any effort there were situations and certain scenarios lined up for what apparently obviously was your benefit so we don't want to snip this in the butt snipping it in the butt is like when someone offers legit encouraging words and you say no it's like turning away from positivity 
And there, of course, are appropriate times to do so when it's a annoying positivity and and just not the right fucking time because you got other things going on. But when there's a natural segue of a healing situation going on, just let it go, let it let it occur, let it continue and be thankful and grateful for that one thing yours truly frequently has done in the past is immediately compare it to my personal pain and say well this this doesn't make up for it but i'm not gonna do that this time we're just gonna say cool more please yeah i just thought of that more please Maybe not more, please. That sounds like too much like Oliver Twist. But we're going to say, cool, thank you, I'll take it. Cool, thank you, I'll take it. I'll take it. The other big thing that I wanted to motivate low-key here tonight, definitely wanted to focus more on the low-key. Key because a few of our speeches have been a little high strung. Not saying that I don't love every single fucking speech that I do, and you should too, because they are all works in progress. And the whole point is putting the effort in, not having what should theoretically look like a pitch perfect product. But secondly, we really want to focus on this idea of like dialing back the throttle as you go relentless aggression. As you continue to move, keep the movement going like a fucking shark, like a goddamn Conan Barbarian relentless motherfucking aggression as we get this push while at the same time accepting this healing i say dial back the throttle as needed what i mean by this and where this came from was again i was in the gym today which is why we're doing so great low key because we're still having burnt off some of that energy, even though I'm feeling a little bit of it now. I wish I could calm that shit down. But in the gym, as I was progressing through my workout, I noticed some, some the negativity coming up. The negative thoughts that we never seem to get rid of. And what what I will say about it is they're pretty easy to let go of and focus on other things when I'm sitting down with my music and my journals and my pen if it's morning or evening. But when you start getting into motion, walking, running, doing stuff around other people, etc., it's easy. Seems a lot easier for these this negativity to creep on back. And we're not necessarily pushing it away. One strategy that we are adopting is is when you see it come, let's just focus on clearing the mind. And I'd like to talk about that right now. When I say clearing the mind, I mean an actual physical thing that I am doing. It's a it's a intentional, conscious, skilled, meditative practice without sitting cross-legged on the floor. And it's just like the butthole I was mentioning earlier. Everyone knows the difference between a puckered butthole and like a relaxed butthole. Almost like you can have air come swooping in your anus. Which also I got fascinated earlier tonight of like, what do chicks do when they're taking a cock? It's like... Will they pucker it or will they relax it or are they not even <laughs> just thinking about how much it like hurts or is enjoyable? I don't know. But anyway, it's like relaxing the butthole, except we're using that sort of that sort of uh, physical action with your mind, with your head. So 
So that is, it's the same kind of movement, but on the opposite end of your body. And that was kind of the best analogy I had for clearing your mind, which is such a fascinating practice to do. But that was more of a segue into this point number two of dialing back the throttle. So as you notice when you're staying aware, because that's what you want to do throughout your day day on the way of the Daniels we heighten and keep aware of ourselves and our environment also a really good safety tip but you just dial it back and what I did was like take a pause from the workouts don't immediately go to the next workout don't immediately start pushing the weights and doing the reps again take a pause and rest and clear your mind and that or don't clear your mind or just rest and that ease the negativity that was great it was fucking phenomenal and this is just like also i'm going to say another example of climbing a steep hill what i've learned from a photographer and what climbing the manitou incline with my little brother is this thing called step Pause where you go up a steep hill if you take one step and then match it with your other foot and then pause and then take a step and match it with your foot and then pause what i noticed was that you were almost it was like you were expending no energy to climb a steep fucking hill whereas other people if they keep going step 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 whether fast or slow pretty soon they'll be sweating they'll be breathing but if you just do step pause step pause you're almost expending no energy, and that is exactly how I'd like to relate back to dialing back the throttle whenever you start to notice that negativity creep in. Because we don't necessarily need that in our life. We don't know how necessarily to shrug it off, get rid of it yet, so we just learn how to deal with it. Either you listen to it and witness it and see it for what it is, or you step pause. And now we're out of time, and so we'll wish you well and good evening. And I'll finish with a quote from a movie I watch called Nomadland. Kind of a fascinating movie, but has kind of a somber tone to it. And I'm not a huge fan of somber movies, but it has a great quote. What's remembered lives. What's remembered lives. And this is why what got me thinking initially is that do some more effort into remembering good things. Because obviously, if you're just remembering bad things, these are the things living. And this is why I found the quote fascinating. What's remembered lives. We'll see you next time.